Welcome to part one of my legacy meal series. And tonight we're making mama's meatballs. These were by far my number one request growing up. Nothing fancy, just straightforward old school ingredients like saltine crackers to create that binder. This was my favorite part to do when my mom was cooking these. Add in that brown sauce, and I don't know about you, but Lowry's was a staple in the household. And I feel like the next step is the most important. The way she combined those meatballs, it mattered. Don't overwork your meat, just do enough to make a nice meatball and then drop it in some flour. Get your big mama skillet out and drop down some vegetable oil. Brown all the meatballs at once and then get ready to make the raised gravy. And now she used everything. She kept the stems on the mushrooms and then sliced down some onions. And for the raised gravy, you just drop down some flour and some warm water. And don't ask me how much, but she always added in about that much Worcestershire sauce. The meatballs go back in and you let that simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes until she said it was ready. And we always had the perfect mashed potatoes to go right alongside the meatballs. And I don't know about you, but my mama's meatballs hold a special place in my heart. It was my number one request coming home from college. I don't know, the layers of flavor, the salt, pepper, all the seasonings. It is so delicious. I hope you guys try this. And for some reason, I always had to add a little hit of hot sauce. This one is good, good, baby.